an attack at the very heart of this rebel government. Gunfire echoes through the city. Some say this was an attempted coup d'etat. The people responsible, a militia group known as anti balaka They're mainly Christian and loyal to former president Francois Bozizé. Their target, the mainly Muslim security forces called Selika. The streets of this once bustling city are almost deserted. Those who venture out risk ending up like this. It's not clear how many people have died. In this mortuary, we counted 25 bodies. This woman lost her son. She didn't want to give us her name. I don't know what is happening in Central African Republic right now. If you go in, you will see people on the ground, like animals that have been slaughtered. With the state of the country, where can I go? This is where some of the injured have been brought. Most of them have bullet and RPG wounds. Women are being treated alongside government soldiers. <laughs> this woman asks God, why has this happened? There are both Christian and Muslim victims of this conflict. Muslims and Christians used to live in this country peacefully, but the hatred and violence which has taken over here will be difficult for people to forget. The French are warning there could be genocide here. France will be sending in more soldiers soon to back up a strengthened African Union force. On the streets of Bangui, it is the rebel government which insists it is in control. The enemy attacked us and we routed them. We completely destroyed them. These Selika fighters are now out for revenge. They'll be searching for the anti balaka militia who still pose a threat. This is an endless cycle of fighting and killing, destroying this country. Nazani Mashiri, Al Jazeera, Bongi.